see that <coughs> body grooming can be a controversial topic for non-lifters, aka dirty bums who don't care about their appearance. <laughs> but for a lifter, it's a great way to improve your aesthetic. But it's not so cut and dry, lol. Yeah, I got a commercial for this shit coming up later, so uh, get ready for that. It's a fine art, and it comes down to shave or trim. And every body part is different. Fucker, let's begin. Chest. I'm a big supporter in shaving your chest hair. Especially if you're Italian like me, and your chest hair looks like a Romanian dude's back if it were a yak's stomach. Shaving your chest is a great way to bring out your cuts and make your skin look like it's made out of condoms. Okay, now there are two ways to go about grooming your chest. Number one, and most likely you'll attempt first, is to grab a razor from... Dollar Shave Club, who ship primo quality razors to your door every week at low prices from the link in the description below. And clean shave mad stacks with a bad promo off your chest just like I did. Fuck you! Yeah! Fuck you! Yeah! Fuck, you snuck that in there, dude! You had no idea! You had no fucking clue I was selling you there! Not a fucking clue! Give me a goddamn Oscar! Or a subscription to Dollar Shave Club! New members get a one month trial for just a dollar! After that, it's just a few bucks! I get it now! Alright, now I can go, uh, go pay those bookie rent! Sorry, getting desperate here. <sighs> we good? Apparently, I gotta talk about these razors for another like 30 fucking seconds. Okay, um, let me ask you do you really wanna go to fucking CVS, huh? And talk to a person? Have them unlock their bullshit plastic safe they keep the fucking razors in for what? So you can buy some mini goddamn shaving rigs? No, of course not. Okay, so do that link thing, get some razors, get your boy paid. Suck, suck my dick. Clean shaving your chest is a great way to. Clean shaving your chest is a, is a great way to achieve that marble statue look. Also, for that one day that it's clean shaving, it'll look like your chest and abs are just naturally smooth and chiseled. Like a bunch of bowling balls wrapped in leather. Instead of looking like you intentionally shaved your chest like some sort of pervert. Looking sexy already. <laughs> shit, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Clean shaving your chest is not for everybody. If you're an Italian Adamus like me, then your chest hair is more like a rusty grill brush. And you're probably prone to ingrown hairs and razor bumps. So if you don't want your chest looking like bad pussy, best not to clean shave. It's like uh, that HD porn that should definitely not be in HD. <laughs> bad pussy still good pussy. Option two, buzz that shit. Trim it. Yeah. This will get you as close as possible to that clean shaving look without the body herpes. Downsides are, uh, it's pretty obvious that you shave that shit. So non-lifters are gonna judge you to make themselves feel better about being out of shape slops. Also, if you buzz your chest, your skin is gonna feel like a cat's tongue. Which is no bueno if you got a lady rubbing up against you and your skin is making a breakout in hives. Yeah, but that's her fucking problem. Your problem is figuring out how you're gonna fuck all this pussy with just one dick. So shaving is good for bringing out those cuts. But what do you do if you're not that cut? See, the moment you start gaining a little fat, your freshly shorn belly is going to look like a tight bag of rats. I don't know, man. It's just, it's not a good look. What do you do when you're bulking? Which is what I call it when I stop giving a fuck about dieting. Which is pretty much most of the year. So what do you do then, huh? What I like to do is I like to keep a low trimmed layer of chest hair. This will give the appearance of ab shadow where there are actually none. Basically like makeup for your abs. It's like you draw it in. When you're real cut, you cut. When you're not that cut, you just you just paint it in. Fucking Michelangelo here, dude. The six-pack chapel right there. Boom! Vincent Van Gogh. What is that shit? Fuck you. Armpits. This is a tricky one. If you shave your chest, but you have wild armpit hair, it's gonna look like you're tucking a couple of crusty brooms between your arms. Kinda weird. But if you clean shave your pits as a man, it's gonna look like skin has grown over where two pussies used to be. Like Bobby's clam. Plus the feeling of never before hairless skin rubbing against itself 
is gonna feel like sleeping on a leather couch in the middle of summer. Feels fucking terrible. Try subtly trimming it just enough so it's not sticking out like a fistful of bent hay. Back! I don't care who you are, if you have back hair, shave your goddamn back. Having back hair is the quickest way to tell somebody you love Armani Exchange and grabbing girls by the wrist when you hit on them. Obviously the problem comes in reaching your back. This though is a great opportunity to work on your shoulder mobility. Grab a mirror and just slap that shit around until you no longer look like a sex trafficker. Or better yet, have a lady do it. Or your bro, who's a dude. Forearms! If you think shaving your forearms is the trick to making your forearms look bigger, then your forearms are not big enough to shave. Shaving your forearms only works if your forearms are already big and veiny as fuck. If you try shaving your bony ass forearms, it's just gonna end up looking like two uncooked hot dogs. But if you have a shitload of arm hair and you already shaved your chest, it's gonna look like you're wearing a sweater made of just sleeves, which is pretty fucking weird. So what you're gonna have to do is trim and taper right here. Right there, get your barbershop on, dude. Little bit of trim, little bit of taper. Right there, high taper, high fade all the way to the shoulders. It's this seamless gradient of hair and muscle. I did not say this shit would be easy, dog. Which is easy, Mac, for hot dogs. Bush! So the question is, are you gonna clean shave your bush? Let me ask you, are you a male porn star? Are you gonna raise your nuts too? What about your gooch? You gonna clean shave that as well? Cause that's what you're gonna have to do if you Hattori Hanzo your bush. You didn't think about that, did you? Well, I'll tell you who did. The chick staring at your preteen pelvis while sucking on your hairy nuts and tickling your bushy taint. And she's wondering why she's got Michael Phelps up top and Hagrid down below. So the moral of the story is, you gotta trim to get the trim. Legs. You're better off just waxing them like your pussy. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. New ads, I mean videos. Videos every week. Half that is a lie. I'll let you decide. On which t-shirt you want from DonMerch.com. Or which chapter is your favorite. In the Swoley Bible. After you read it. Well, don't read it, just buy it. Who cares if you can read? I don't, which is why I also recorded an audiobook version on Audible.com. Who has yet to renew their advertising deal with me this year? Even though I recorded a fucking audiobook. Hit me up.